This is Sweet Melodies, a segment of Grace Life Kami podcast that provides you with uplifting, encouraging, enlightening, and empowering words via Bible reading from the books of Psalms and Proverbs. This podcast will also engender your fellowship and relationship with God the Father via the Bible readings, prayers, and declarations. Now listen to this episode. To read in Psalms chapter 16. Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord. My goodness extended not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied, the hasting after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is a portion of my inheritance. In my cup thou maintainest my lot. The lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reigns also instruct me in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope, for thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 16 from verse 1 to 11. Praise the Lord. Our focus for this session is Psalm 16 and verse 8. I have said the Lord always before me because it's at my right hand I shall not be moved to set the Lord always before me simply means to agree with the will of God it simply means to be conscious of the nature of God in you it simply means to become more like God daily It means to come up to the level of God. And it means to resemble God in every area, in every sense. Beloved, we are in times that only agreeing with the will of God, being conscious of the nature of God in us, yearning to become more like Christ daily, growing in our relationship and fellowship with God, and making all efforts to resemble God in every sense will aid us to stand the various deceptions, to stand the various evil fashioned against the growth, the edification, and the build-up of the body of Christ. It is only this that will aid us stand as believers and not fall into the deceptions and the evil fashioned by the enemy to pull us away from Christ, to take us away from Christ, to separate us from Christ. Like the psalmist David, who made it his responsibility to always set the Lord before him and was never on the losing side in any battle. Every believer in Christ 
must do same in order to manifest as more than conquerors. Jesus has overcome the world. The scripture says in the book of John chapter 16 verse 33, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. If Jesus says yes, then yes. But you have a responsibility. We all have a responsibility to be conscious of the nature of God in us. First John 4 verse 4 Ye of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. This is the reason why we have to be conscious of Christ in us. This is the reason why we have to daily be awakened of Christ in us. Oh, it creates an assurance in us. It builds boldness in us. John 1, 1 John 2 verse 14 says, I have written unto you, fathers, because you have known him that it is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and in the word of God, and the word of God abided in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. The word of God abiding in us is what makes us strong, is what empowers us and keeps us as overcomers. We continually overcome the wicked. This is a call to come up to the level of God, to become more like God daily. I have set the Lord always before me, always speaks of continuity, always speaks of perpetuity, always speaks of constantly, always speaks of irregular daily sacrifice. The responsibility of setting the Lord always before us isn't a joke. A daily sacrifice, a regular sacrifice. It may not be convenient, but you have to set the Lord always before you. Ephesians 6 and verse 13 says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. This is what is needed to stand. Ephesians 6 and verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. The days are evil. But thank God for the mercies of God that are new every morning. We must wake up and take the responsibility. Wake up. Standing is guarding yourself about with the truth and having the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You taking the shield of faith, only through which you can quench the fairy darts of the wicked. Standing involves you taking the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and with supplication in the spirits, and watching therewith with all perseverance and supplication not just for you but also for all saints beloved i leave you i leave you with this word 
And I pray that you will be able to withstand and stand. Why? Because you take up the responsibility to set the Lord always before you. I bless God for you and I thank God for you that indeed life will be sweet for you. You will draw sweetness from life and all that God has in store for you is yours. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Now is your moment of salvation. If you are yet to make the Lord Jesus Christ, your Lord and personal Savior, we request that you say this prayer along with many others now. Say this words, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, I repent of my sins, and ask that you forgive my sins. I believe that you shed your blood on the cross, died for my sins, and rose again in the third day. Today, I invite you into my life today. Wash me by your blood, make me your own, until eternity be my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you Lord Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. For your love gift of any amount to Grace Life Kami Podcast, kindly use any of our giving channels available, to give in dollars. You can send to Universal Merchant Bank Ghana. Account number, 033-154-551-2013. Swift code, M, B, G, H, G, H, A, C, to give in CDs. Universal Merchant Bank Ghana. You can send to account number, 033-254-551-2017. To give in Naira, you can send to Ecobank Nigeria. Account number 554-102-0592. Also, for further enquiries, you can call us on plus 233-54-594-7132. OR. Send us an email via ministry at gmail.com. Today, remain ever blessed. God is not a man that he should lie, but the son of man that he should repent. As he spoken, shall he not do it? As he said, he shall he not make it good. All the promises of God are ye and even in Christ Jesus. Ours is to believe, and as we believe in God's promises, as we believe in his words, we are sure to receive every of his promises, which are ye and amen in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah.
God's word is sure and it's amen. Believe in the Lord, trust in the Lord. Don't give up. Keep holding on to God's promises. And I assure you, like he did it for Abraham, he sure will do it for you. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. We believe you were blessed listening to this teaching from God's Word. May your soul remain ever refreshed and revived. We would love to hear your praise report today. Beloved, remain connected to Grace Life Comey Podcast. Jesus is Lord.